Hey everyone, Haley here from The Foiled Plan. We are back with another episode in my creative design series. So last week, we took a look at Procreate. That's what we're going to be continuing with today. Now, if you are brand new to Procreate and you're not sure how to use or navigate the program, then I will link my first episode in this creative design series, which goes over the absolute basics and how to navigate the program. So I would strongly recommend checking that video out first before we get into this one because even though this is still for beginners you're gonna want to watch that so that we can lead into this one I hope that makes sense all right so today what we are going to be doing is creating an extremely basic lettered design and then I'm gonna show you how to export it so that you can open it up in Cricut Design Space and use as a cut file image. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we have our iPad here. I am using the second generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch screen, and I do have my Apple Pencil. However, I am not going to be using it today because a lot of you guys maybe don't have the Apple Pencil yet. So I'm going to show you how to create things without this. And then later on in this series, we'll introduce the Apple Pencil. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up Procreate because I want to create my design. So if you're not sure how to download Procreate or what the app is, again, watch that first video. But we already have it so I'm just going to open up the program wait for it to load and you'll also notice I didn't mention this in my first video but I always have my iPad plugged in when I am running procreate and that's simply because it uses so much power when you're using this program that it just eats the battery life up. I'm sure with some of the newer iPads, it's probably not as bad, but again, I'm just using the second generation iPad Pro. So I always have my iPad plugged in. And you'll notice even too with it plugged in, if you see the battery bar at the top, sometimes you'll see even with it plugged in, the battery is still going down and that's just because it's using more power than having it plugged in and charging is able to generate. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, so the first thing that we want to do is open a new canvas. So each one of these are called canvases. So I am going to click on the plus button and then I'm just gonna click screen size. That's all I'm going to worry about right now. And that's going to open up your blank canvas, which is white. All right, so for today's design, I'm just going to use the word create. And it's just gonna be a lettered word. Keep it nice and simple, just to give you an idea of how to create a design. So we're not getting too fancy today. So the first thing that I like to do is choose which brush I want to use. So what I like to do is go through my brushes and pick something that's gonna work for my design. So for today, let's go calligraphy and we're gonna choose monoline. If you're creating a letter design, I recommend choosing a brush that has very solid, clean lines because when you send this design over to Cricut Design Space, if the edges are all fuzzy, that is going to be extremely difficult for your Cricut cutting machine or any type of cutting machine to cut. So just keep that in mind if you're just doing a basic letter design to do this. You can test out the brushes. You can test out the size of the brushes, whatever is going to work for you. I'm gonna keep this at full so you guys can really see it. And then you can choose to create your design as individual letters or you could do one connected word. All 
All right, so in order to get this design from Procreate over to Cricut Design Space, we have to export it. But I'm gonna show you a few things before we actually get to that stage. So if we are wanting to export an image, we're going to go up to our actions menu, which is the little wrench we talked about in the first video. And we are going to click on one of the center options at the top of the menu that says share with an arrow pointing up. And that's going to give you a bunch of different options. So it's going to show you Procreate, PSD, PDF, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to use PNG. So PNG stands for Portable Network Graphic. Now you don't have to worry about remembering that, just remember PNG, that's what we're going to use. So before we're going to export it, we have to do something first, because if I export this image as it is, it's going to have a white background. It's just going to be a flat image and we don't want that. So what we want to do is get rid of this background. So if you've ever been on Google searching for an image, you might notice that some of the background of the images comes up with a checkerboard pattern. That means that there is a transparent background. So there's no background there. It's invisible transparent. So when you're working with a transparent background, the only part of the image that shows is your design. That's important when we're creating a cut file or creating a design that we're going to cut on our cutting machine. So in order to remove this background, what we're going to do is click on our layers tab. So I can see I have layer one right here. That's my design. And remember I showed you these little check boxes where if you hit that box, it hides the design. So I wanna bring that back. Now I can do that exact same thing with a background color. And now it's a transparent background. So you can still faintly see the design is here, but there's no white background. So that's exactly what we want to then go ahead and export the image. Now that we have our transparent background, we're going to click back on the wrench, which opens up our action menu. Make sure that you're on share. And then we're going to pick that PNG option. So right here, we click PNG. It's going to show that it's exported. And then once the check mark shows, it's going to open up this menu here. So you have a few different options for what you can do with it. You can send it to another device, you can mail it to yourself through email, you can save it as a PDF, send it as a text message. But for the purpose of this, what we're going to do is click save image. So that's gonna save it to your camera roll. So we click camera roll, it says export successful, and now we're back to just the design. So we're done now working in Procreate, but before we leave this artwork, what I like to do is turn that background color back on. This is totally a personal preference thing. You don't have to do it. But if I go back to the gallery, I can see this image. I know exactly what it is and it's very clear. Now let me show you what it looks like in the gallery if that background color is not turned on. See, it's really difficult to see what it is. So again, that's just a personal preference thing, but I like to do that. All right, so we're done in Procreate, so I'm going to double tap on the home button of my iPad and swipe up to close it. The thing is, if you are not working in Procreate, you should try and close it just because, again, it eats up a lot of your battery life. So now we're just going to scroll over and find Cricut Design Space. So it's the white icon with the green Cricut logo. And then, and then I'm just going to click on new project. All right, so we're in a brand new project in Cricut Design Space. You can tell it's new because it says untitled at the top and there's nothing on the screen. You can also select the layers option on the bottom menu of the screen and see that there is nothing there. All right, so to get our new design into Cricut Design Space, what we're going to do is click on the upload button. So it's just over here at the corner. 
We're gonna click upload and then we have take a photo, select from photo library, browse files or open uploaded images as our options. So remember how I said we exported it and we just hit save image that put the design in our camera roll. So we're going to go select from photo library. Just click on that. There's a lot of different options that come up. Uh, I'm just gonna click the top one, which is moments, because I know my most recent image was done today, and it's gonna be the first option here at the bottom. So I'm going to now click on that image. And remember before how I mentioned finding images on Google that have a checkerboard background? That means they're a PNG image or they have a transparent background. Well, we can see as soon as we upload it to Cricut Design Space, it has that checkerboard background. So it is for sure a transparent image. So you can see a preview here of what the cut file will actually look like. If you want to make any adjustments on here, you can, but I recommend making your adjustments in Procreate first and then uploading your design to Design Space. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next in the top corner. Again, this gives you more options to edit. I'm just hitting next and then I'm going to save the file as the word create. I'm very creative, I know. <laughs> and then you have two options. You can save the file as a cut image or a print and cut image. We want this to be a cut image, so we're gonna make sure that the option on the left is highlighted. And you can tell it's a very faint drop shadow with a green outline around the box and a check mark in the top right hand corner. If I want to switch, it's very difficult to tell unless you know what you're looking for. Now the check mark is over here. So keep it on cut image. You've got your name entered and then we're going to hit save. It's going to think for a second and now that image is going to be available in your uploaded images. Now if for some reason you just don't see it there. What you can do is click and then drag down and that's going to refresh the page because sometimes your images take a second to actually show up. Now let's say for some reason this didn't pop up and you're like, oh no, where did my design just go? I need to import it all over again. Well, no, you don't. What you have to do is go to upload again and then the last option says open uploaded images. So if you click that, that's going to show you everything in your recently uploaded images. But now we see the image is here. Everything is fine. So what we're going to do to actually put it onto our canvas is click once and then you're going to see that it pops up down here. Now, if you want to do multiple images, you can click all of them and they will show up down here at the bottom. And then when you click insert, it's going to put all of these images on your page. But I don't want all of these. I just want this one. Now I'm going to click insert and there is my design. Now I can click on the design and I can adjust the size. I can adjust the color, which doesn't really matter because it's just a cut image, but sometimes you like a visual on your screen to match what your vinyl is or your paper is, whatever you're planning on cutting this on um, but you can do lots of different things and you have yourself a cut image that is it now that we have our design exactly how we want it we would just hit the make it button and then follow the usual routine for creating your project now you may have noticed if you are an avid procreate user that i did not use any shortcuts when I created this design in Procreate. And that's just because I am doing a whole video later on that goes over all of the shortcuts that I use. And because we're not quite there yet, I didn't want to make things too confusing by also using hand gesture shortcuts. And uh, I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. Some of the videos that I have coming up in this series include shortcuts and hand gestures, a deeper look at the menu items in Procreate, how to letter better in Procreate, 
using the Apple Pencil, creating a watermark for your designs, creating YouTube thumbnails, how to get the best quality out of your designs, and honestly, the list goes on. I have so much awesome content coming your way, so if you don't want to miss it, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I will be doing videos like this at the beginning of each week, and then I will still be sharing my regular content with you on Foiled Fridays. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching episode two of my creative design series. I hope you feel a little bit more confident and maybe you'll be able to try and export a PNG image from Procreate, then upload it to Cricut Design Space to create a cut file. If there's any questions you have, or if you would like a tutorial on something specifically design related, please let me know so that I can film a full tutorial and include it in this creative design series. All right, guys, that is all I'm going to say. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.